Welcome to the Sight Cabin Podcast, episode nine. Episode nine. Yep. Yep. Episode, episode nine. nine. How have we got here? And by the way, who's that guy? <laughs> and where's Jacob? Jacob is uh, unfortunately ill. Uh, oh. He's come down with uh, he's come down with man flu. Man flu. Yeah. In his own words. Although, I think the uh, Christmas do. Christmas, Christmas do, do. yeah. Do you reckon flu. he's got man flu? No, he, England played last night. He went on the piss. England played last night. Yeah. Of course, they got through, yeah. didn't they? In the knockout, uh, in the uh, league sta- stages. Yeah. So they got through so to the knockout. Jacob loves the football. So he's gone on the piss. Oosh. So yeah. we think Jacob's I gone mean, on the piss. He technically told us before the game. Yes, he did. He told us before but, the game. But Oh, in anticipation. He, he's gone out. He's got bladdered. He won't mind me saying this. He'll love it. No, he'll love it. And yeah. he's got bladdered and thought... Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm, I'm not, not going, going to work. I'm not going with them guys yeah, again. I'm not I can't going. sitting in that room. Yeah. No chance. <laughs> so yeah, so Jacob's face. not here. Um, so uh, Jacob's not here. So we have with us today, we have Andy. Welcome, Andy. Cheers. Bit Thank of a round of applause for Andy yeah. there. Yeah. Andy is our second guest ever on the pod. Andy was coming onto the pod anyway, but um, now Jacob's not here. We've obviously, we've still got him on the pod, but it's just me yeah. and Danny. And, and Andy, so you are... Jacob for the day, uh, if, if that's okay, if you don't mind. Um, so uh, yeah, how, how have you been, Danny? What's what's been happening? Anything been going down in the nothing new in the hood? Um, still still waiting for me log burners. Your log burners still haven't arrived. No. No. That's two annoying. Log burners, isn't it? Two. Two, two log yeah, burners. You, you're the only man I know with two <laughs> log burners. A lot of people have like, but of course, cars, it's interesting. Right. Subjects actually this because if you are a joiner, yeah, yeah, of course. You get access to loads of offcuts of wood. Yeah. So why not have Free a log? Heat. Bu- Free heat. Yeah. Exactly. Free heat. And especially with gas and electric going up. Rishi and all them bastards have uh, put all our bills all blind, up. <laughs> you know, I'm going to burn my way. You're going to burn your way out of recession. <laughs> burn my way out of recession. <laughs> 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 burn, baby, burn. Dad, burn I'm going to burn all your bills. Yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah. Statistically, yeah. I think I think the law is if you burn a bill within 24 hours of receiving yeah. it, you don't have to pay that bill. Well, what I'm going to do is get the electric bill off one of the gas and electric companies. Yeah. I'm not going to pay that, but, but it'll heat my house. You'll use that bill to See, start the fire. fire. Yeah. I love it. To heat my house and not pay it. Yeah, I love it. They don't deserve so it. So if you don't pay it, the more bills, the more demands you get, the more energy. Yeah, the more. So all they're doing the really fuel. is, 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 is they yeah. the so what the co- the fuel company's doing are actually they're creating the, yeah. by yeah, billing yeah. us by paper based billing us they're creating yeah. kindling. You can't fucking have it. Anyway, yeah, you're not having it. it. They're not having it. So but you know, yeah. joking apart, it's a really sensible thing to no. do. Yeah. But you're the only man I know that's got two log burners. Two, two log burners, yeah. And they're still not arrived. Oh, if in a three bedroom. So, so are, are you basically sat in the house freezing cold at the moment? Do you have uh, central yeah. heating? Yeah, no, I won't allow her to have it on. She's got yeah. <laughs> put another jumper on. She's got jumpers <laughs> on and she's got uh, extra leggings. Um, leggings. Yeah, the kids are like, Dad, Dad is freezing. Yeah. yeah, but no, nothing really. Uh, waiting for Christmas, watching the World Cup massively, enjoying the World Cup. Love yeah, it. yeah. Andy, seen any of the World Cup? Oh yeah, yeah, watching yeah. a lot. Yeah. Any yeah. any highlights so far from? I think of Monday's you? game's just gone when it was. Um, oh, God, which group? I can't remember which group it was now. Uh, it was like a three or they'll, they'll fact check us. They'll tell oh, us. Yeah, anyway. uh, you know, I can't remember some fantastic <laughs> yeah. games. Yeah, um, yeah. great Brazil, games. I've got to say, oh, Argentina Brazil been great to watch Brazil. Well. Brazil, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. England. England. Who's yeah. your, uh, right? So Second okay, so uh, who's your tips so far? Who we tipped on the last one, but now are you going to tip again? Are you going to mention a team, or do you want to leave I, it? Or? I think I think Brazil are going to take some beating. Yeah. France look good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean we we look I good. We've got it in us. We do. Yeah. We do. The um. The migrant worker issue has gone to bed, hasn't it? Yeah. I've not heard anybody mention it since yeah. Gary opened the BBC's I, uh, commentary with all about how bad Qatar was. And then all of a sudden, the football started and yeah. nobody's talking about I, it anymore. You see, I, I, I hope in the last episode, people who watched it, they didn't get confused with what I was saying. Like, it is very important, all those issues. And, and it'd be interesting to hear yours. But I don't... Like, we had... There is all sorts of issues that are discussed in what goes on in that country. But I hated what Gary Lineker did. I hated it. I thought it was the most yeah. sort of... I thought it was inappropriate. And yeah. what the BBC did. Like, yeah. they didn't show the opening ceremony. They didn't... And when they started... And I that, was a bit gutted that they didn't show the opening yeah. ceremony. Yeah, they were, like, they were a bit on the high horse. It's like on the high horse. Like, yeah. you're not great. 
They even BBC. Yeah. They don't give free. free. Oh, they, they charge. Is it the same BBC oh, no, who hid the Savile. fact that Savile was the massive pedo? Exactly. Like oh, the, is it that BBC? It's that BBC. So, yeah. you know, they, yeah. they've got their own things. Like, they're on the high horse about issues and the right to about some, but look at yourselves as well. Yeah. Uh, well, we said it on the last pod. Yeah. Sorry, Andy. G- get your own house in order first. The Go biggest on. one for me is FIFA's fault, all of this. Yeah. Well, they, they, they have so many values and standards. Don't. Uh, you know, give it to someone that, that standards don't agree with. Yeah, I mean, Qatar, as in, I know we're talking about football on a construction podcast, but it's our podcast. We can talk about whatever mm-hmm. we want. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But Qatar, as a, as a footballing nation, have achieved the lowest ever statistics of a of a, a home of a home nation ever in the history yeah. of the World Cup. But linking it to construction, yes. apparently their aircon in the stadiums is incredible. It's supposed to be amazing. Even, yeah, it's like air from beneath. Yeah. They had um, cold reporters, air, yeah. and they had. The cameramen have been and, and camera women have been have been doing shots of like you know the, the reporters taking photographs or yeah, people yeah. with hoodies on because the cold because the cold in the stadiums that's amazing. Well, they said they didn't agree with FIFA holding it in the winter, did they? They said they've got the technology to do it to do summer. it in the summer. Yeah. They did they originally, they could yeah, do it in the summer. Yeah, yeah. But it was FIFA who made the decision. But it sounds yeah. like it sounds like by the uh, the 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 status of the aircon, mm. maybe they could, they could have actually held it in the summer. Yeah. That I, would. I think it's been a great World Cup. So I, the, far. The, the political yeah, issues it. that have uh, arise from it. But if you listen to some of the comments from the fans, they're all enjoying it. They're all having a good time. I know, yeah. So Did you see the, see them two Scouse lads? Scouse. Um, incredible. L- lad and dad. Which they, one was they, this? They, 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 they basically went um, on... The, well, they went... They'd watch the game, I think, and they went looking for beer. Well, no, no. <laughs> but good the, luck. The there. best bit about yeah. this is they did the interview, yeah, right, and 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 they did this interview saying, "Oh, we had this mad night, and we went to the Sheik's house." And they we, ended up we in a multi-billionaire's but, but Sheik's called, house, and he was wrestling a tiger. One of the lads, no, but like this little tiger. Everyone called them liars. Yeah, and then they went, "No, no, we weren't lying." Yeah, the but Snapchat story, story came out, and the, it's true. They were, yeah, they, they did it. They were there, and there was him, this young yeah. lad with a tiger. It's a fabulous story. It's a fabulous they story. They actually went and, right, and, and they, that up they yeah. If there's anyone listening in Qatar right now that wants uh, to add to their story about yeah. maybe a construction-related individual yeah. that's in Qatar, we'd love to hear your story, yeah. how you got there, what you're doing while you're out there and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but um, sort of moving on a little bit. So today's episode um, is is essentially about labouring, basically, yeah. isn't it? Um, Andy, uh, so sort of a bit more of an introduction for yourself. So... Um, please feel free to chip in whenever, but you kind of, well, you can tell your own story, but you've been a labourer, you've been um, a technician, um, sort of a maintenance operative. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do All you sorts of stuff. Sort of yeah. t- talk to us about... Um, How did oh, you start? Here's one for you. I'll start, I'll start. Is labourer, labouring, is it a trade? Uh, no, it's not. It's but... I, I think a good labourer yeah. could, if you wanted to, become a tradesman. Yeah. Well, if he went, he went into that avenue, it's, it's a good way to start if you maybe later on in life, if you're not an apprentice, yeah. you, you is, get into it. Do you think like the art of being a labourer, though, the actual art yeah. of labouring, and again, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but like the um, being prepared, you know, being uh, sort of look at, looking after the, the individuals that you're labouring on, do you think there's elements of that that are like a trade? Yeah, he's just thinking ahead and planning, isn't yeah. it? But yeah, but I, that's, I don't like is. to say that labourers are up there with tradesmen because, uh, uh, it's, I mean, a good labourer, it, it frees up all the, the tradesmen's time just to get either on the trowel or yeah. join us, get on with... Because we're talking about a lot of construction trades here. A lot of construction trades have labourers working for them, don't they? Bricklayers for a start. J- joiners? Yeah. Joiners, Danny? Uh, uh, yeah, but I think... Plasterers? Yeah, I, I think electricians? Plumbers? Sorry, say that I, again, Dad. I, don't, I think it is a trade. I think it's more like a joiner's mate, isn't it? No, but I think a good labourer, it, 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 it makes it work. I think on episode I one I or two, you, I think it was episode two, you said that a good labourer is worth a half-decent tradesman. Easy. Yeah, do you still, I, I do you still sort of stick of by that? that? Yeah, yeah. somebody who's like conscientious. Or, organised. Pl- it's like a good, um, like a good butler. You're always in front. Always yes. like, what do you need? <laughs> love yeah. it. Always yeah. like, love always it. Predicting what you need. You it's there. It. Yeah. It's there. It's ready. That's a, that's a skill in itself. There are, the thing is with that is there are trades people who can't do that. Yeah, it's that. You mean like think forward think? They can fit doors. Forward they think. They can lay bricks. They can plaster walls. But they can't forward think and plan. Whereas yeah. some labourers... Where's the next drop? Can. Where are we going next? I, I think though the... 
like the physical side of labouring is starting to go out of the trade, though, isn't it? Especially on sites because you've got the forks, mm. oh, you've got ready mixed water. But that's, I mean, like twenty five yeah. years ago, it was all um, hand mixed. Well, you know, mixed. No, 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 it was. You're absolutely right. Point of mixing the mixer. Point of mixing the mixer. Up on the odd. Carry the ladder. Yeah. The, the actual physical labour. Did you ever? Did you ever work on the odd, Andy? Is that ever when something was that you did? Sixteen, uh, just out of school, I did yeah. a few months with dad. Yeah. 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 Um, and I did you on the odd. The same dad. We have, yeah, it's a very limited gene pool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on, go on. Well, I but I was on the odd, but not on brick, because only like 16, but it was with mortar. So yeah, yeah I did a bit, but yeah. it was just as... I think... Uh, 10 the, years later, the forks were in The, the hod is looked at nowadays as like this piece romantic of, piece of equipment. No, it's horrible. It's a fucking horrible, horrible, horrible thing. With 12 bricks and an odd, going yeah. up the ladder. And anybody, anybody watching <laughs> right now or listening that thinks, yeah. oh, the odd was this and the odd was that... You you go on the yard all day, horrible, loading horrible bricks shot. up a ladder, yeah. or mortar up a ladder, and tell me at the end of that day if you think that that odd's a beautiful thing. <laughs> do, you, do you know what? what that always romantic? got me. I, I do remember the odd. I remember it. I've used one and I, when I was younger. Well, you know what annoyed me about the odd, and I n I'll never understand this. Is yeah. They used an odd to carry brick. Yes. But they also used an odd to carry mortar. They did. Yeah, that's right. correct. Yeah. So that annoys me because it would. You'd have to clean the odd. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. But you'd always have. You could just put like a bucket, put sand in it. Yeah, or you, you, quick, would, you would. You would. You would coat it, it with sand. Yeah. Coat you you, a it light off. dusting of sand in the odd, fill it with mortar, and then as the yeah. mortar came out, it wouldn't stick to the odd and at all. And there's a trick to getting it on your shoulder, get the yeah. shovel, and uh, it's a I full see, technique. See, like see, that, that's that, a I that, which I suppose don't say it's the wrong way. has slightly passed you by. Yeah. I think when you yeah. came into construction, yeah, about ten years. I remember the were just coming in. People hardly used them. Yeah, when I came into construction. Yeah, you're only. People yeah. were still using the odd. It was it was starting to go. Yeah, it, starting to yeah. go. it was. Th there was people driving forklifts, and yeah. and there wasn't like there is today. Like there was forklift trucks and forklift drivers. It's, everything's on one lift. I wonder You've if got you can loading still buy bays. one. In like oh yeah, you can still get odds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's still a few. There's still a few people out there like. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. You know, like them scaffolders that lift them 21s. Yeah. They think like the Superman or no, something. I remember Not lifting the ones that put them on the end. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I remember talking to a labourer saying, Oh, yeah, I had a super rod. I could put 24 brick in it. Oh. And it's like, Oh. Right. So that's a good point. <laughs> super that. odd. Yeah, because. No, like, he's full of it, though. You know, so to, an, to an, odd, an odd could carry 12 bricks. Yeah. Yeah. Metric metric bricks. Crop stat properly. Yeah, stats, stats, cro yeah. cross stacked. You know, an odd could carry 12 bricks. But interestingly, um, do you remember the program Record Breakers? Yeah. Well, was that on that? There was a fucking guy on that, right? Called yeah. Super Odd. Su he was called Super Odd. I'm sure someone will tell but us. But he's got no knees. Someone, someone tells <laughs> absolutely. No, he won't. And he, won't and he used shoulders. to he used to no load his, load this hod up with like I forget how many it was, but it was yeah. something ridiculous, like sixty brick. And his nickname was Super Odd, and I'm Super Odd, and all this shit, and I can fucking lift all these bricks up this ladder, and it's like brilliant, mate, great. You won't make it past 35. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he's dead. You'll be fucking dead. dead. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so there is a there is a kind of like romance attached to labouring. Extremely hard labour. And, and hard yeah. labour. As hard if like, labor. I can do that, no problem. Yeah. And yeah, I've got no doubt like you toughness. can do that. Yeah. I've got no doubt anyone can do yeah. that. But can you do it? Every day, rain. five days a week, oh, yeah. when it's pissing down, yeah. when you don't want to go to work and you think, I've got to go and labour on yeah. well, five that, that, that bricklayers. Every now and again. You carry her, you labour her, you just go missing for a day. You just yeah. go, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like, no, okay. I can't do it today. Yeah. 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 I just so, got to accept that. So going back to the original question of is it a trade? I mean, we've all got our own opinions. Mm. I think it's close, but I take your point that I, it's I take your point that it's well, not having, a trade. Having working with brickies and joiners, and you've got to do more of the, the the planning, the thinking, the uh, yeah, me, you know, the measuring. You got to. Yeah. If it, it depends on the labourer. You could get a labourer who's just your bog standard labourer who just does the physical work or the one yeah. who's a bit more conscientious, which a lot of them grow into, mm. you know. Uh, yeah, I planning, mean... Like getting, getting stuff in front. I'll go into it a bit more with you, but it's 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 a more than just that for me. But I think your bog standard labourer would probably still be those things, whereas I think you, and it's quite an exception, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I, um, I mean... I, yeah, but a lot of lads yeah. do go end up being tradesmen from that they do they and can. that's great well you you have it. you've yeah. progressed in a way like you, a jack no, of you all have, you have you yeah. have you have qualifications now don't you maintenance yeah. and stuff so maintenance so you've you've whatever, progressed yeah. you've progressed well, through you know you know, you know. loads of stuff though you do all sorts of you going know, from like laboring on the odd how do you think it's changed then since like that was when you were young well i did it for a, a summer when i was 16 yeah. and then i didn't do it again until i was like 
28, 29. Right. And it was all forks then. It was all yeah. Forks. God, this is so what was the diff? What was the big difference then? Building then? clamps, uh, brick clamps, brick clamps, brick clamps, brick clamps. Brick clamps are so, amazing. So, so just to confirm, you've laboured on brick layers mainly, or have you done? Brick, I started off joiners? on brick layers for like late twenties to thirties, yeah, and then started doing general building work, private homes, yeah, and then joinery, a lot yeah. of joinery. I really, I should. I, Brick works. It's hard work, isn't it? When you yeah. Physical, labor, yeah. labor on a brick layer, it's really yeah. hard. I think I think labouring on a brick layer or potentially a plasterer, and probably the two. Well. Just labouring on a roofer, roofer. Oh my god! Unless you've got that conveyor. If going they've up. not got that bumper hoist yeah. going yeah. up, going up, yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah. Any jobs that spring to mind or that sort of where you think uh, that was a nightmare? I don't want to put in the spot. If you don't know, don't don't worry. Don't have to. Don't. Well, you know, we can move and on. I don't know since because of the forks. Now everything's just. Boomed on. A bit easier. On. It's all one and, level. And like the silo and stuff. It's, I mean, even when I was 16, I was not doing brick. I was just mostly doing just mortar, topping yeah. up. Yeah. But the, yeah. I, I know these private jobs we've worked on where you've not had a forklift. So Yeah, but it's kind of... Extensions kind of, and things. The brick Or smaller in. jobs. Well, yeah. like there's brick a job, drop a job in, in particular, like when we worked on... Um, I, I worked on it as a joiner. Was it that rich guy's house? Rich guy's house. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So yeah. I know that That's with stonework. And, and yeah. block. So, what was the difference there then? What it was weird. It was like a it was like a layered house. It was different levels on it, yeah. like split so level. You, you could almost get to the third level off the ground on the back. Ah, yeah. very good. Yeah. So it kind of worked all right with a barrow or brick clamps. So, well, yeah. stone. It's basically it's, stone, it's the same thing as a joiner though, as the 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 inclusion now of a paslo. Yeah. You're not nailing nail. You're True. not you're not hammering yeah. nails yeah. in anymore, yeah. are you? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah you're firing not... them over yeah. the scaffold. See if you can get into see, the tree see or what something. You can yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How, how how far can you fire a Paslo <laughs> nail gun without? Because <laughs> you have to. All you have to do is pull the safety mechanism yeah, down, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And it fires. Yeah. Does, yeah. does it fire straight? No. As it leaves the gun, it starts to spin. Ah. So, like, because when a, a nail gun is fired, it it it's to do with the compression. And well, you've got the big head at the back, so it's going to make it straight down. But like a normal gun. It ha it fires, but then it goes twist, doesn't it? Right, so, it's rifled. Right, so rifled, basically, yeah. if there's a zombie apocalypse, I'm calling bullshit on the fact that if you've got a Paslo, you can defend yourself against you zombies. You have to be up close. You, you have to be up, you close. Have to be up close. You have like to be dodge right, this. like like dodge this, like yeah. Matrix style. And Matrix, even then, yeah. it's only a nail. You need to like proper yeah. Yeah, the head off. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, what I think we talked about this before, but what is the best weapon? What is the best construction weapon to defend yourself against a zombie? I mean, roofing hammer. Oh, good one. Axe, good one. Good one. Chainsaw. The roofing axe. Got, like, Chain yeah, chainsaw. Chainsaw. yeah, we've said chainsaw before. Chainsaw's good. Yeah. Axe. Chainsaw. Yeah, we've oh, said yeah. chainsaw before. Good. Sledgehammer. You can't go wrong with sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. But so, so just going back to labouring. Um, so clearly obvious, you're, you take that, that very seriously and you approach it like professionally. But yeah. there are a lot of individuals out there, and I'm starting to laugh now because it's true. Yeah. So there are a lot of, and, and same with other trades, but a lot of individuals out there who just like, well, I'm going to say it, just some fucking daft lad who, who thinks I'll have a go, I'll give it a go, yeah, but do. doesn't really have an idea of what it's actually like to, yeah. to be a labourer. And then certainly in our comments and stuff, we always get a lot of comments off people saying, oh, fucking idiots or, yeah. you know. What, I what? mean, you, you do, you get lads who just, you know, a bit thick or whatever, just get yeah, out of it. Yeah. People, they're always, you know, good lads if you get stuck in. Yeah. I mean, it... it or they just grow up. That's what I was saying up. with Andy It takes them a while to grow up. It takes them a while yeah. to grow up. Yeah. They're just out on it and, you know, come yeah, to work. Yeah, on the piss, basically. You know, they're not, not sure what they want to do or yeah, whatever. Yeah. You need to have perhaps, into it. like, other labourers you've worked on a site with then. And they, you don't have to name them, but, like, what well, they were I, like. I know one who... Just some of them are wild, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> like I remember, and they don't care. I, I don't I think I've got a bit of OCD. They are a bit wild, some of the yeah. labours, aren't they? Every labour's got good ones, got a little bit of OCD, make sure everything's straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then recycle. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you've had one with um, who destroy every single bucket he took up the ladder. Oh, God, I've had. <laughs> you just chuck it off the <laughs> scaffold. I'll, I'll, I'll happily name him because he'll probably love it. <laughs> Gary. Oh, Gary. Gary was yeah, an absolute yeah, nightmare yeah. for us. No, he wasn't a nightmare. He was a great guy, yeah. great labourer. But. Um, I, I can remember one, I don't think I've told this story, but I can remember one time, I he, he got like three buckets and they're all smashed up and handles broken and yeah. he's fucking picking them up and hands full of mortar and we couldn't tip them onto the boards correctly and everything. I'm like, for fuck's sake, I am sick to death. 
I am sick to death of you not having proper clean buckets. Yeah. Go to B&Q and buy neat new buckets yeah. for B&Q. Yeah. Take some pride in you in your work. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the expensive, the thicker ones. Not, yeah. yeah, take not some pride in your work. Little plastic don't buy the 99p ones. Buy the three pound yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, don't buy the shitty orange ones. Buy the thick black plastic ones. The decent ones. Right, no problem. Okay, we go off for dinner. Me and Mike go off for yeah. dinner, right? Next minute, we turn, we come back an hour later. <laughs> Gary's there with three beautiful, beautiful buckets. Yeah. Yeah. Done it. Done Gone it. off in his Corsa or whatever, little little boy racer Corsa, you know, yeah. with the with the spoiler on the back and everything. I'm thinking, Gary, this is fucking brilliant. Yeah. I was like, these are brilliant. This is exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. Thank you for listening to me. I'm so pleased it's finally got through. 20 minutes later, well, not knock on the door because we're on the scaffolding. One of the Brit Lane guns comes up to me. Um, <laughs> Dave, um, you know them buckets that you're using there? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, yeah. He went, uh, I think there are tool buckets. Now, Brit Lane has carried the tools yeah. Yeah. in buckets. A lot yeah. of them did do. Yeah. So I'm like, are they? Uh, uh, Gary, Gary, come over here. Gary comes walking over to me. I said, have you fucking nicked their tool buckets for our motor buckets? Oh yeah, well they were just there. They were just lying around. So he just tipped the tool. Around. He tipped the tools out Brilliant. and just started, just basically started using them. Oh, but did you go mad? I went. Uh, I did go mad. I think I made him. I think I drove him to B and Q in the end. Yeah. yeah. I made him spend like six quid of his own money yeah. on buckets. Yeah. I've got a great little tip about buckets. Actually, go go, go for it. it. Right. It's just boring. You know the, the good ones. You know you get the when you get the new ones and you get the loop. Yeah. yeah the, the little the little the little hook. Right. Get some grips and tighten them up. Oh, I love up, that. They bend up, coming loose. Get them and just tighten, tighten them up. So tight, on the bucket, so on the over. handle, the little yeah. the little hoop, the hoops up tighten into it with the, under, the under hoop of the, the I love bucket. that. Get some grips and tighten them over so they bend in because they won't pop out then. Them orange ones are shit, aren't they? Yeah, they're, oh, they're obvious. This crack. Why, why yeah. do B and Q sell? Why, B and Q, if you're listening, why do you sell Why do you sell yeah, B and Q? They're, they're not. Because no, the black ones because are great. The 99p, the black, like, because they're 99p. Because the 99p. probably make more profit per yeah, sale yeah. on yeah. them. Yeah, because they're always doing buying them out yeah. paint and decorators yeah. or something. Well, what, yeah. They snap, they break with like water. Even half the price, they don't last... No. Like there'll, there'll probably be design. some disclaimer yeah. some sort of don't put x amount of weight in this yeah. bucket some oh, some bucket wanker yeah do you know what i mean that's that's what i'm going to call them i'm going to call them bucket wankers <laughs> yeah. that's what they are like bus stop wankers. yeah bus wankers yeah. bucket wankers. Like wankers absolute bucket wanker so don't buy orange orange buckets you know just on you've given a good, a good i like the tips any more tips labor tips I don't know, just keep keep like your bucket clean and I know basic okay. shovel. Make sure your shovel's clean. Yeah, I, make sure it's like oh, a razor. Yeah. Your shovel just has got to be clean. clean. Yeah. Do you just know if, if you leave labor on brickies? Do you know where that like comes a... from? Keeping your shovel clean. Apparently. Yeah. So when the canals were being built, and like know, the yeah. Irish yeah. navvies, yeah. um basically came over to the to the to England and to the UK and to Great Britain, to Greater Britain, mainland Britain. Um, don't know what certainly Irish people. Um, to dig the canals that that they dug they dug yeah. the canals didn't they? No, they did they did um, yeah, uh, by hand by yeah. hand by the way. You hear about yeah. the calories that they they were on like no. four thousand calories I know, a day or something. I can believe but... it. Let, let me just finish this and you go. But but they would apparently so the story goes is cook their meal over the top of the shovel. Brilliant. So that's why they keep it so clean so that they could like you know attach it to a bit of fry a spike over and fry eggs bacon sausages. Well, I didn't know. You know, ap apparently, I don't know if that's true. I suspect it probably is, actually. It probably well, is true. Go on, you were going to say. I, no, on that, I, I watched a show. It might have been like Made in Britain or something like one of those programs. Fantastic program. And um, it was on those and how many skips they would fill a day. Yeah. Oh. No, yeah, I, I can't remember the figures. Yeah, but it's, it's ridiculous. I've got a huge say amount. Ridiculous. Four a day. 24 skip, sure. what, yeah. what, one no, individual? No, but like, you've got to imagine a like a mini skip. No, one, a mini skip, 24 a day. I'll have to look that one up. I'll have to I look it something up. ridiculous. But it was mental, it's a mental stuff. Well, the amount, the amount of, the amount of stuff. They did it in terracing, didn't they? They dig down yeah. and up yeah, into the that's next right. race. That's right. And the next one to do what the they same. Did. That's absolutely shovel it all out. It's, you know, and now everyone just kills themselves in it. What do you mean? In the canals and that. Well, well, I don't know about, yeah, I mean, there's the story of the Manchester pusher. They're all laced with, Clay, a special yeah, clay, yeah. aren't they? All yeah. canals. Yeah. Oh, the, canals are, the canals are Jumping a beautiful part yeah. of yeah. construction in this mm. country that often we don't really ever talk about. No, and they're amazing. 
Yeah, have you ever seen like, the uh, this piece of old infrastructure that's now used for recreation as well, isn't it? It's for, you know, for yeah, yeah it's, it, exactly. For it was it was actually built for, for industry, for industry, for industry and network. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, uh, John and John and uh, John and Yvonne are off on a, on a so, fucking week's so one day, uh, week's annual uh, holiday down motorways, down the canals. Our motorway is going to be used like for canal oh, boat. I hope so. One day, like industrial. <laughs> Can you ever <laughs> imagine? Could you ever imagine? Right, like go back 150 years. Talk to a bloke or a woman and say, in 150 years' time, people are going to be going on holidays on a, on a, on a canal. Yeah, yeah. And they'll go, what? bullshit, you're talking so, shit. You're talking about, yeah. Imagine someone saying to us right now, in 150 years' time, people are going to be going to holiday, going on holidays on a motorway. Well, yeah. It's the A55. <laughs> <five. laughs> the River Cruise. Yeah. That's the River yeah. Cruise, don't get yeah. me started on that A55. Yeah. We've spoke about that before in the it's, pod. It's one of the best roads, but it it's is. also one of the worst roads. It's the one of the worst ever built roads. Mm. It's an absolute training, nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? I've lost my train of thought. We're talking about Andy's progression and work. Yes. So you talked about like um, going from starting when you were younger, Andy, and then moving on and how it's changed and and developments that you've you've you like in Fortless and the like. I know what I wanted to say. Sorry to interrupt. Go on, go you, 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 no. Have you? Go on, I've, sorry, I've just totally interrupted you. I've got to open another can. No, oh, you open another can. Yeah. Yeah. We were, Danny was just mentioning <laughs> skips. Skips. Is there an art to filling a skip? Oh, yeah, there is, but that's in, if you've got OCD. Or do, right. you, or do you just do you just fucking tip it all in, right? So you just get whatever shit that's going in there, yeah. put it in the skip, wait yeah. for it to be filled. Well, it depends. Yeah. If it's like a load of rubble, then it's, it's filled. It's easy. Who gives a shit? Just chuck it in. Right? <laughs> that's the, that's it mine. depends if it's like a kitchen. This man here. Who gives a shit about the skip? Right. I know I've it's, done this, like, stripped a kitchen job and put it on in the skip. It's like a, it's the most incredible thing that I've ever... It's like a piece... And when Andy fills the skip... It's, it's a like, game of Tetris. Can we... Can we... Can we put photos into this? Um, we have that technology, Dan, yeah? Have, right. <laughs> yeah, but you, you chuck like a, a kitchen I cabinet in without stripping it. get it in. Right, burn it. Just break it up but, and then yeah. break it But you... you I've, I've... 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 I don't know how you fit what you fit it's into OCD. a skip. It's OCD. It's OCD. Is, Dan, uh, Andy is a, um, is a space saver with skips, basically, yeah. by the sounds yeah. of it. It's incredible what he does with the skip. Yeah, but I have come... How can I put it? It's that get, doing things straight, getting it done, but also at the same time, it's like time is money and yeah. get it in. Well, uh, but get also in the skip as well, space is money, isn't it? The yeah, way it to is, fill a skip is, correctly... Yeah, yeah. The way to fill a skip correctly yeah. is... If you, if you fill that skip with loads of uh, hollow material and then on top of that... You've you've lost a load of space. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's it's genuinely something that labourers yeah. or people that fill in skips should actually think well, this, about. This is why I uh, this is why I it's not go something back. to go an X Factor with though. You know I never I mean? thought I'd speak so passionately about <laughs> this filling is, skips. This is, well, this is why I would call this a trade, right? I've thrown, and I will admit this, bags of asbestos in black bags in skips. Oh, that's what you've done, Danny. Just, 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 to, just to stop you, you, right, you, just you, you right there. To, when you, you are now. When you're it's legal, when you're an apprentice and somebody just said chuck it. Yeah, in yeah, because that's that's a criminal offence now. Yeah, but yeah. when you were an apprentice, you mean in the past? Well, well, well before it was made a criminal, criminal offence when I was 16 years old and yeah. I worked for a council, government council, right? And we were ripping fascia board asbestos off. Yeah, probably with no right? mask or anything. With no mask, yeah. and they were literally saying, "Oh, it's all right because you're outside. It's yeah. ventilation." Wow. So we were chucking it in skips then. I mean, asbestos removal now, there's a specific qualification yeah. just in that. So that's a, that's a you trade. Need, yeah. you, need you need the CSI tent as well, don't you? Well, if you're an asbestos removal now, it's like yeah. somehow breaking bad. You know, yeah. like you're cooking meth. Unless it's on my app, so I'm not paying for it. Well, so. well yeah, exactly. That, yeah, but I think the reality of it is that people even today still, they think that's asbestos, they think, oh, fuck it, I'll just chuck it. I'll just no, it's, uh, I'm joking apart. It, it's it's got to be removed properly. It can cause now it has, but it wasn't in the past. But, but when I started, and I'm the youngest of us three, we were still. Yeah, right, I work for a. I work for a council, and their advice was to as long as it's Chuck outside it. and ventilated, you don't need any PPE. That right. Was their so advice. when when you get into your sixties and you get diagnosed with asbestosis yeah. and you can't breathe, yeah. and you walk just up the steps and you're like, <sighs> like Darth Vader, yeah. you know who to sue. Yeah, uh, gravy granules. <laughs> what do you mean, crazy crazy? Stop eating the chicken fat. <laughs> oh well, that that's another thing. Yeah, you need to stop drinking um, chicken juice. Yeah, but yeah, because Danny does drink chicken juice. Um, but what I mean is, like, how 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 you fill a skip? Like, what, going back to like how late how Andy does it. I don't yeah, know, I, just think, why it's a I don't think it's a. It's just a bit of a. 
It's not a quirk I've got. No, no I don't think I it think is. It's a quirk. It's I think a quirk. it is. It is a, it is a specific thing that you need to you need to learn how to do correctly. Just keep make sure everything's level. On the yeah, world, that's it. Yeah. yeah, but it's also about layering it. It's like I once saw you, right, <laughs> fill a skip. Yeah, and you know, like. I know you just get a pile of bricks. In, I know it's job. I think you I just know chuck it in. Yeah. Get a bucket or get a yeah, yeah. wheelbarrow, chuck it in, don't you? Yeah. Andy lined the skip no, with bricks. That was one of their mini skips. Mini skips. It was a mini skip, and we thought we're not going to get it all in. So, so it was we, laid the the skip we laid the bricks <laughs> in the yeah, skip. But like I spent too much time on it. Like, like a floor. Like a floor. Yeah. And layered it in, and the fucking guy <laughs> phoned me and went. <laughs> I what the fuck's lift. he doing? I this not bad. I can't, I can't <laughs> lift this. He's too, He's too heavy because there was that much stuff in it. Wow. Well, he, he couldn't lift it because it was to the perfect level. But because he'd lined it and layered it so yeah. much, like that's a bit too. Much Here's another question for you much. about skips. Do you fill a skip above the level Definitely. line? Not a bit, but not. Don't go. To, I mean, I've seen doors out and yeah, fill. You know, yeah, you do see these skips where doors. They don't it's like take them anymore. Stacked though. really to the sides. Yeah. Do they not take them now? No, they let you get away with like. Few inches above. Oh, and there's another one for you. When you've seen a skip being loaded up, stay well clear because then chains can go. Yeah, I, I oh, actually know. Then I know. I know, I know. I work with it, a lad. They are really dangerous. I work with a lad. Won't name names, but I, I work with a lad. Long, long time ago now, whose dad passed away because the the skip chain snapped. It's, it's gone, that's really? it. And, it's and wild. He he was cru- His dad was oh, unfortunately horrible. crushed between the skip and the wall. Yeah, true story. Wow. Yeah. I, so I you're absolutely give right. It a, give it a, a wide berth. In even. fact, just just talking about that in general, you know, you know how. Nowadays, a lot of modern science they'll have the crane drivers. Shout out to the crane drivers, by the way, because they always say we never shout them out. So. No, no. Yeah. Shout out a to good crane, crane driver on a site is your best friend. Yeah. But a lot yeah. of sites now have cranes, okay? Yeah. Co- that cover the whole site. Yeah. Oh, Danny's doing the banksman's stuff yeah, there. Yeah, Up, <laughs> down. <laughs> well, oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, for them who listening, I just did the sign of uh, a blowjob. Um, yeah. Because it's we've got Spotify and Apple people that listen. Oh, yeah. Listen, yeah. You know, so they're not all watchers. Um, what was I going to say? I forgot. Uh, yeah, this is it. So, you know, like, there's a common misconception when you're working on site. You think, <laughs> it's dead safe. No, it's not. The steel's no. going above us. You the mortar tub's it. going above us. Yeah. The timber's going above us. It's not a problem. I can tell you right now from first-hand experience, it is not safe. No. Don't just think, it's not going to fall. Be fine. No, anything no. can happen. Because because yeah, yeah, I've yeah. seen things go. I've seen things snap. And yeah. I've and I've I've worked with people who've had serious serious injuries yeah. because they just take it for granted. The cranes going above us again. No yeah. problem whatsoever. I mean, it's like you, know. you steel toe cap boots. The steel toe cap for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> as yeah. Well, how many times yeah. have you you know been using materials and stuff? Or... You know, you were just saying then though about like um the like carrying things and like how you know like lifting things and heavy um. He's a weight warrior. He's a weight warrior. Oh yeah! If it's like it, lo, lo, do you mean do you stuff. mean like in a skip or a van or something like you load yeah, in a van so, up? But it, he like you, yeah, you got, overload. No, you've got a problem. I think you're yeah. you're a weight non warrior, <laughs> non warrior, and like, he's a weight warrior. If it's, if it's not on, if it's it's all right if it's on two wheels a van. That's yeah, what Danny's like. Yeah, right. basically you overload vans. <laughs> right. How much can I get in get this bastard? In. Get the get it in. We've got to move it. Whereas, I, yeah, but I think I think I'm too far one way, and I think you're too far the other way. Maybe because maybe. yeah, I, just one one block. I'm one sensing there's been a, a major oh, disagreement yeah. here, oh, yeah, a major like, argument or something. Like, that's what, probably the main. What do you call it when you uh, intervent? Not just, uh, an intervention. Yeah, yeah well, this is like counselling. We need yeah. we, counseling. This is, you're our counsellor about this now. All oh, right, okay. So I I think that you. You you worry too much about what what I don't want to break down on the motorway (laughs) with a van that's absolutely loaded with bricks or whatever. (laughs) It's like oh great yeah, but it's like it's like some things you'll think because of the quantity you'll think it's too heavy. Like internal doors. This is like this is this is genuinely counselling for Danny now. Yeah, Yeah. get it out, Danny. Just get it out. It's a lot there. It's a lot. You you (laughs) if like six doors go in, Andy's like I don't know. And I'm (laughs) thinking six doors be fine. It's outdoors. There's a video going around at the moment have you seen it of a guy he pulls up i think he's in something like it's something like a Vauxhall nova or corsa or something like that and they get a ton bag of sand in the back of his car oh, and this brilliant. guy gets it he gets it in it all tips out and pisses everywhere but he puts it in a full Fair ton point. bag of sand Fair in point. the back of someone's car so i've just got to say i've just thought of a great subject that we've not talked about that 
the only car worth having is one you can get a mixer in the back of. Oh, I completely so agree. I totally agree with that. Yeah. I completely agree. Well, what, what, tell, us about, tell us about what you've moved with, with skips and cars. What cars? What? Well, a Fiesta, you can get a mixer in the back of Fiesta. A Ford, Ford Fiesta, Fiesta, you can Ford get a mixer. Fiesta, you can get a mixer in the back of it. Yeah, you and can. That's all you need to know about yeah. Fiesta. Yeah. That's I mean, it. it's interesting, isn't it? That the, 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 Are they not making them anymore? Like, do, no, they stop making Fiestas now. But, what? In to, in, no, they stop, no, making, stop Fiestas. making Fiestas. Do, do you have, as a trades person, do you have a van or do you have a car? Do you need a van? I think. Do you need a van? I, I think. I think brickies can get away with a car. Yeah, I think joiners will struggle. Yeah, because they sometimes the amount. Of, well, the just amount get it all delivered. Out. Can you just get it all delivered? No. I'm, oh, you mean like I mean the equipped tools, tools? Yeah, you can carry some. Oh, all joiners need a hammer in it. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm not, no, I'm I'm obviously no. playing devil's advocate. Yeah. Do you think genuine, very genuinely? No, I think joiners need a lot more yeah. tools. It's yeah. the tools they, they need for different. Yeah. If you're doing first fix, second especially if you're doing fix, in, yeah. in private work and everything, it's yeah. all sorts. Yeah, but because then it's the other payoff. Well, I'm I'm in the I'm in the construction industry. I've got my van, but I don't want to go out for a drive on a Sunday afternoon in my van. No. So then do I have to go and buy a car? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. And, and if you've got children, car seats and all that issue. Exactly. Yeah, you yeah. need a car that you can get a mixer in the back of. So yeah. you, either, you either get a car that gets a mixer in the back of, which is like an estate car, which I'm going to be dead honest I with you now. Know. Most people that drive estate cars, I always look at them and think, <laughs> bankers. <laughs> are, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you like a serial killer even, or something? Even, are you a serial killer? Yeah. <laughs> Because I do see people in estate cars, and, and especially men. In fact, most men are serial killers. Most serial killers are men, should I say? And I think to myself, why you? Why have you got that serial? Why have you got that that car? Well, what, what are you putting in the back of that car? Yeah. Well, another one is is like, and our and our and one of our guests, our brother, had had one. Is they go for these like tanks, utes, utes. Yeah. Now, yeah. for but me, it's, you're it's like a fifty-fifty. Car. It's like a I get it, but scum. it's like, oh, look at my massive It's a wheels, big, it's a big car family car, but also a big industrial yeah, sort of working car. Like a work, no, Mike, work Mike does, but there are other people, trades no, people that no, I know I have those mean, vehicles. Big, straw poll then, straw poll. Car, big car or van? I'm going for big car, Good big family car. For the, for the fans. Big car or van, Danny? I'm going to go, do you know what I'm going to go for, which I always loved? Astra van. They're Astra great, van. they can Loved move, it. They can move as well. Big, seven turbo diesel. big car or van? Oh, Transit, big transit. Oh, transit. transit. And no, a transit. Not a long I mean, wheelbase. A and he's going solid... shopping on a Sunday afternoon yeah. Yeah. in his transit, transit. van. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, like, I like being a pie as well in yeah. the transit. Yes. I know yeah. what you mean. And, and well, not a big a one, just like a standard. Yeah. Used to be advertised standard as transit. the backbone of Britain, the transit van. Eight, eight foot sheet apply. Yeah. Let us know Let us know in the comments what you think is the best van out there. Let us know if it's um, if it's, if it's it's a van or if it's a car. or well, Let us know. I, I, from experience, the big, long wheelbase ones, they can't, they're just too big. Are you a serial killer? Yeah. Um, are you actively, uh, you know, <laughs> rolls of carpet in the Definitely. back of the car? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Rolls of carpet. Yeah. A car boot is that. Is she like a great big fat person? Yeah. You know, that's out of. Um, what's, what's uh, Sounds of the Lambs. Sounds of the Lambs. Oh, yeah. yeah so you yeah. know, Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill he yeah. gets a van and he asks this girl if she'll help him put the settee in the back of the van. And she says, yeah, of course I will. But he makes her go in first. So she's in the back of the van. Does he kill her? No, he just, well, he doesn't actually. No, actually, in that one. He, he doesn't oh, actually kill her, enough, yeah. but mm. but he just pushes the settee in and shuts the doors. And she's trapped in the van. Sounds of the Lambs. I've yeah. seen that film. I I yeah, yeah. That, but... In fact, there's a scene in that where the girl is trapped in the bottom of the well. Yeah. And I can't help but look at the pointing around the well. <laughs> yeah. And sort of no, think, I know what you mean. Yeah. You know, oh. it needs repointing that well. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, you, do you ever, do you, do you both do that? You know, when you're walking around just in oh, your yeah. normal day life, away look from construction, do you look at things and think, that needs fixing. There's one, mm. actually, I was walking past a house that our auntie used to own next to mum, used to be mum, mum and dad's. Okay, yeah. I was walking past there a couple of days ago and they had, it was night and they had the light shining on it. Yeah. And they'd done a big extension at the front and it's like, the brickwork's a mess. Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah. But people, no, most people, <laughs> but the light really showed it up. It ah. looked like it was built on angles or something. Was it a downlighter? Yeah, a downlighter. Chance. But because yeah. the, the brick wasn't, yeah. nobody put a level on it. Yeah, yeah, it was a mess. Look, something that Spider Man could easily climb up. Yeah, oh, easily. Oh, that, that's yeah. Spider Man, anybody. Yeah. The thing yeah. is, you, you notice more things when you're outside. Like, you, there's loads of stuff in my own home that I think I'll fix that, I'll change that. I think, oh, I can't be fucking arsed. Right. But then I go to my mates, like one of my mates who's going to come on, Brownie. This. He's got a shout out to Anthony. Brownie. Shout out right. to Anthony. Shout out to Anthony. Oh, you know, he's got a fucking tap that I've been telling him for weeks Tighten and up. weeks to fucking change months, actually, years. Change this tap. Change the tap. Light. You can't change light bulbs. Yeah, but it's like a busman's holiday, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I have to go around and change these light bulbs. Really? That's is that? Yeah. That's, 
That's annoying. Anthony needs to sort your shit out, mate, if, if that's yeah, the he's case. He's done me a favours. Um, but he's done you a lot of favours, yeah. George, um, like I think I've got his dad's power washer, actually. Yeah, yeah, you probably have. I think yeah. I have. His, his dad's uh, garage when... Um, his dad passed away. His dad, unfortunately, passed away. Yeah. But um, when he had an incredible amount of tools, like, unbelievable. Yeah, we were like a load of locusts, weren't we? Yeah, Anthony awful, said, just go awful. and have a look and see if you I don't even it. know if he knows. He'll know it now. But, yeah, you yeah. Know. We, yeah. He, his dad, if you want it back, I've got it. It's in my shed. No, no, no. no. I did, no keep it. I gave Dad a hand for a few days doing these chimney stack. Yes, you it. did. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. job that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was ages Speaking ago, of yeah. chimney stacks, have you, um, you know, a common thing with a chimney stack is yeah. to do the haunching yeah. on the chimney stack. Yeah, haven't you guys? Oh yeah, <laughs> I know where you're going there. Me, yeah. me, Andy, and uh, yeah, a, golf a late club. friend. Yeah, yeah, um, a, a very sadly, yeah, a great late friend. friend. Yeah. Um, we were, we're, we're, I'll let Andy tell oh, We won't, won't, won't mention any names. Place. Don't mention no. any names. Uh, it, you're working it. at a quite a, exclusive golf yeah, club. Yeah, it's lovely. And it's, it's it's always dead peaceful when you work at a golf club. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's um, it was up above. It was a chimney stack. Um, and we were just redoing, just redoing the chimney stack, really. Just a bit nice. of pointing, a bit of mm. haunching. Making sure all the pots were on properly. Yeah. I think they're having, I don't know, new, like, gas. They suppose. have open fire. You know, well. I'll, I'll tell you what it was. It was, um, they were going to have... Um, it was they're coming up to their hundredth year in twenty twenty. That's right. And they were gonna have aerial photos taken. So they wanted the grounds to look properly. <laughs> ah so right. We came up with an idea of so Well he just did it off the cuff and he, he had a bit of an artistic bench. He, so the, the he, person who did it What he, did he do? I'm, I'm well he, an ancient symbol that you sometimes see in the side of yeah. big hills. Oh yeah. so so like a like a like a horse or he <laughs> could or say it's hung like a horse. Oh, oh right. Like horse. Yeah. So basically yeah. He drew it's a big a symbol, penis on the top of a no, roof. It's a symbol of f- fertility for the golf course. Yes. So it will last yeah. another 100 years. So it's still up there yeah. now. So he drew a big cock on the roof. Yeah, basically. Yeah. In mortar. Yeah. yeah. Mass. Brilliant. I reckon yeah. by the time the weather's got to it, it'll probably... Mm. Still there. If you have a drone up there, yeah. you'll still see yeah. it. So it, was a, it was a strong mix. Talking it was, of drones, talking a drone, by the way, yeah. how helpful have they been in for construction? Massive. Drones. Yeah. Well, yes, instead of going up the ladder. So you don't have to go up the ladder. Yeah. Roofs, the things the roof is in that, yeah. Yeah, you know. they've been really successful. Um, going back to labouring and labourers and the and, uh, story of labourers, I can once remember a labourer telling me a story about, um, you know the film Babe? Yeah, the Pig. The pig. So, yeah. Babe yeah. the Pig, yeah. So when that film Babe came out, pigs were really popular. And then um, Vietnamese pot-bellied pigs... Yeah. were also like a really popular thing. So people started buying Vietnamese pot belly pigs. Didn't George Clooney have one? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's all like, 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 yeah, like it, it was that, the in thing at the time. Yeah. You know, one minute it's parrots, then it's birds, then it's dogs, then it's... It, 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 when Babe came out, it was pigs. Yeah. So people in like suburbia would just own a pig. Buy a pig. Yeah, so this mm. labourer once was almost on site with this guy and he said, told me this story about how he'd, um, he'd bought his missus, this pig, Right, this Vietnamese pot-bellied pig. And they're only supposed to be like a micro pig, yeah. like grow that big. And he lived he lived, he lived, lived in a house with no garden. So I don't know if it was an apartment or something like yeah, that. Right. So he ended up converting the loft into where his pig would live. <laughs> this is a true story. I'll tell you now, this is a true story. But anyway, the pig turned out to not be a micro pig a and, a, and, a, and a full-size pig. pig. So he kept feeding it. It kept getting dead big. But he couldn't get it out of the loft. He couldn't get the pig out of the loft. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened he, with the pig? Well, he, he had to get a guy in to <laughs> kill it. Kill it, yeah. Uh, did he eat it? Did he eat I it? don't know if they ate it or not. I don't know if they ate it or not. But basically, the pig grew too big for the loft. I mean, can you imagine this shit and the smell up there in the loft? A pig in your loft. There is a story. What's from... that noise? Oh, it's a pig in my it's loft, it's mate. It's don't worry about it. He's from a yeah. Sean Locke comedy show called, I think it's 15 Stories High, and there's a guy, there's a guy across from me in, this, in the flats who's got a little pony for his daughter. And I think that's based on a true story. Oh, right. Like, okay. You know, like big, the big flats. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's like having animals in a, yeah. in a confined well, so the space. Shetland pony in a, in, a, in, a, in a big flat. In a <laughs> yeah, flat. I mean, that's big absolutely daughter. ridiculous. So, um, yeah, let's, should we have a look at what's on the old table? Obviously, we normally do like a, a tool thing. Yeah. And Andy being a guest, we said, well, why don't you bring us some? Oh, well, what have you brought for us, Andy? Uh, this, I saw this a few years ago. What is that? Do you so, want his pencil, proper brickies, you know, build Yeah, pencil, yeah, yeah, joiner's pencil. Yeah. You can well, it's referred to as joiner's pencil, but I think it's like construction pencil. Yeah, yeah. joiner's pencil. Yeah. And you usually sharpen it with a standing Yeah. Idea. But there's actually a. Oh my God! They've made they've made a it. pencil sharpener for it. I didn't know this until a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous! Yeah. Look at that. 
actually we're works. actually we're actually showing a pencil sharpener off on the site cabin podcast. Yeah, you've never used a pencil sharpener, but it's a pencil sharpener it. for we, a, a pencil that's not round. Yeah. yeah, but we could put our name on that. Oh, site cabin pencil sharpeners. Yeah, Andy, you've brought what else? You brought two two of your favourite tools. I can see that. Uh, just for doing a bit of you know repairing something on a, under a sink your or pocket. something. You know what, plumbers, yeah. plumbers in general, a good pair of grips. Yeah. Yeah. The plumbers. A pair of grips. Plumbers, plumbers would absolutely yeah. love a pair of adjustable. grips. Adjustable. I mean, and, and, and by the way, that invention, the adjustable spanner. Yeah. How, how much work does, yeah. Oh, give us the uh, can you imagine, seven ends, uh, seven yeah, eighths seven, of an inch yeah. or something Can you like imagine that? having to have all the different spanners available all the time and instead now? Yeah, well, great if, if <coughs> Grips, actually. But, if, uh, if Doc had had them in Back to the Future, he wouldn't have asked to ask himself. Oh yeah, because he does ask himself, doesn't he? For don't um, you mean three eight? Don't you mean three eight? Oh, or something right. like that? He's, yeah, he had an adjustable. So, uh, don't worry, yeah. mate. It's all right. In 1955. Yeah, yeah. We I wonder, I wonder when different... the adjustable spanner was uh, invented. Then great, great bit of kit though. What a what a great piece of kit that is. And incredibly strong considering it lasts just on those little yeah three grooves. Yeah. yeah. What else have we got? Um, I, I I've noticed something that's on the table. Uh, yeah, so um, it's fair to say, uh, Andy, as well oh, yeah. as, oh, as, right, well as yeah. being a labourer, as well as uh, b being a labourer, um, then then technician, maintenance operative. You, you've you, we've mentioned it a couple of times, but you've also you've also wrote a book. Yeah, cheers for that. Uh, no, for no worries. It's called Nostrum Gulch. So I'm going to say it right now. You're probably the only labourer. Oh, I think very very few labourers that have wrote a book um, completely. I mean, it's like. Describe it as say science fiction. No, it's a uh, horror western. Horror western, western. horror western. Yeah. Horror yeah. western. Um, I'm happy to say I've read it, and uh, this Just, you know, I'm, this is I'm the book that Andy it. dedicated to me. Um, uh, well, I've got some on this. Dave, thanks for spitting on my head from the top bunk in the middle of the night. Yeah, when it you was were really yeah, enjoying. That. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that. Yeah. I, I've got one, but I, I tried to look for it tonight, but um, unfortunately, when we moved house, I, I, I think it's... You haven't lost it. No, it's, no, it's, no, it's in one of the oh. boxes. You've lost no, your brother's no, book. Oh, my God. But mine is a unique copy. Mine's a unique copy. Mm. Mine's more unique. Actually, no, mine's... mine's Why is yours so unique? I, I, I did. To me first. <laughs> he signed to you first? Mine, put day, yeah. I think I ordered the first one, though, didn't I? No. It's funny, because when I first... I, I did it on Amazon, published yeah. online, yeah. and then... Over the year, I changed it about seven or eight times. Oh, just, I've still got the original. Just updated. Really? So yeah. there's a few different copies. Versions. Yeah. yeah. So it's like owning a, it's like owning a Harry Potter number one or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be available on our uh, our, our socials <laughs> now page. Give it a read over Christmas. We'll, we'll click the link. Give it a read you, over um, Christmas. Yeah. When you publicised it, I yeah. had a massive jump, and I had one person. Who bought the physical pot copy and one person who did uh, a Kindle copy? So fantastic! Well, we're going to do it again. For nothing after three months. Fantastic! Well, great. well, um, <laughs> go go online. It's called Nostrum Gulch by Andrew Melia. Um, it's a horror western. Actually, don't. Uh, I hate it when people try to plug things. It always annoys me. So no, yeah. fuck them. If, no. if you don't tell them how good it is, nobody yeah. else will. If it was me though, I would, I would deliberately not buy it. Listen, this is the best best podcast in the world. Yeah. Currently yeah. undiscovered by lots of sponsors yeah. that need to start <laughs> getting their act together yeah. and sponsoring us. Let's, yeah. let's like face Netflix it. And like Amazon Netflix and, and yeah. uh, Dewalt, Black and Dewalt, Yellow, Black and Yellow. Dewalt, you know yeah. that sort of thing. So so let's sell no, it. No, cheers for doing that. Anyway, let's, no no problem. So that's going to be available on our socials as well. We'll provide the link for that. Um, it's approaching Christmas, gents. Yes. Uh, first is, December tomorrow. Is putting Say your Andrew's Christ Day today. Is it? Say Andrew's Day today, day, first yeah. December tomorrow. Is putting Christmas lights up outside of your house a construction activity? No. Ooh. I, I think an electrician DIY, might, a might, DIY. Might, is it a DIYer? Yeah. Yeah, somebody, you know. It's, yeah, it's DIY. Electricians will get involved and go, oh, you can't use that. <laughs> Just fucking plug it in. Just plug it in and turn yeah. it on and yeah. put plug plug that extension lead into that oh, extension yeah. lead yeah, into yeah. that extension. How do you get the power from outside from inside to outside? For through a window? For a window. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for a window. Obviously you can have external yeah. sockets fitted. Yeah. But not everybody does. Nah, it's too hard though. No. It's too PVC hard. ones up, so you can get on that little crack in the window, can't you? That you just leave open. Yeah, you can, you can yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah, but then you've got like the window open all the time. Yeah. You mean like with the uh, the, the handle safety. still locked down? Yeah. Set hand, yeah, yeah. Handle locked oh, that's down. a good yeah. idea, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You don't. So you don't think it's um? Or just drill at the side of the brickwork of the window. There you go. On my local Facebook page at the moment, there's a guy advertising for 
Um, it just he, he's like a handyman, yeah. but he goes round and he will put your Christmas lights up as well. But it's actually thought yeah. it's quite a good service, really, because there must be a lot of people out there. How much is he charging? Does he work? I have no for... idea, but Danny, are you thinking about it? Or does he just make enough money for like three weeks a year or something? Yeah, no, I think he does like go to cleaning fair, and all yeah. that sort of stuff oh, as well. Enough. But yeah. he also will put your Christmas lights up. As yeah, well. I mean, that's, and I did think to myself, I thought, well, you know what, yeah. fair play. Yeah. But then I, I did think, is that construction? Do you know? I what? think it is a little bit. At first, illumination I was say, of your like, house. You know, is he a paedophile or something, or is he? Yeah. You know, is he something dodgy? But then the more I've thought about it, the more it's gone on. I've thought, is it actually fair play to him or her? Yeah, for going round. Uh, and, and now I'm thinking oh, no, about yeah, it. I'm thinking, oh, yeah. Do you know what? Get I might somewhere. pay someone. I like. I've seen these people who come round and decorate your house, and you think if it had to money, I'd say, yeah. I saw a car yesterday. He does roast dinners. He delivers roast Brilliant. dinners. Excellent. Yeah, he's on the side of his car. Yeah. Roast yeah. dinner delivery. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, you can get them now. You can get like Uber roast dinners. Although, can't you? Talking about roast dinners this time of year. I tell you what's a good one. I know we're talking about Christmas. And we talked about football. How weird is it? Christmas and football. A no, year old I like it, but. I, I was sat in my kitchen, I was studying my kitchen the other week and I was making a Sunday roast and I had the World Cup on. I know and my wife said to me, Do you not think it's weird not barbecuing? Yes. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yes. it's like a party. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, I know what you mean. And it, it hit me. Odd. And I was like, yeah. She said, I know you watch Super Sunday and everything. It like doesn't that. feel as as uh, like carnival y no. as it no. usually is. It's t shirt weather, isn't it? The Here's World one for you. Here's yeah, one for you. Yeah. How many England flags have you seen? No. Do you know what? Mine's not out. Mine's not out. I've not. How many no, England flags have you seen? If it was a summer now, I'd probably have three England flags on my, yeah. on my house. Yeah. You know, I'd probably, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. I've not, my yeah, kids would have the faces painted yeah. and things like that. Especially now, now we've made it to knockout yeah. stages. Yeah. 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 What, what about uh, Christmas, in, in, construction at Christmas? Love, love the songs. Get well, it on, on the site radio. Oh, you mean, yeah, we're going to talk about this a bit more in the next episode, but right. like a pre, prelude to that now. Yeah. Um, what's construction like at Christmas to work in? It's, it depends on a site. Depends it on the weather. D- depends on the weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Domestic wo- houses, yeah. they want you gone. They want you out of yeah, there. Yeah, but they also want you in there to get it all smashed off. They've they got to be in there to finish. Finish, 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 yeah. And they were like, oh, what my cooker's you, broke. My cooker's broke. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind calling that, but it's like people who phone you saying, I want me all upstairs decorated. We've got people coming around on the 20th. You're like, well, can, should have phoned me three months ago then. <laughs> should have phoned me in July then, yeah. mate, shouldn't you? But, but then you've got the other side where you're currently doing work at people's houses and it's Christmas and they just want it finished. And What about on site? What, what's what's the thing that's there? Because, I mean, I've had some experiences on site which have not been great at Christmas. I'm not going to lie to you. Especially around... Payments. payments so i've had people yeah. come up to me qs's yeah you know yeah. qs's uh, site managers site supervisors and sort of say sorry lads you're not getting paid till after Fuckers. christmas yeah yeah that's i've had I've, that. Had, I've actually had that you're not getting paid till that's, after christmas that's fighting talk like, what are you talking yeah. about i'm not getting paid Look, till after christmas. christmas presents to pay for yeah for got, father christmas is not going to be coming yeah if you don't pay me mate um so you know what what what's the thoughts what do you think about I, i've had that it's I've been, I've been done on the last payment before Christmas. Yeah, that's what I, I have as well. I've been done. I've been done. done. Yeah, been times, done. Yeah. I think most companies do it. I think yeah. most companies, because they know they've got to shut down. For t- and when I mean shut down, it's not like, oh, I'm having two weeks off for, uh, he's going off or she's going off for two weeks. The entire company and country shuts down. The entire So there's no income. Mainly, the, the whole construction industry as a whole, there might be differences with certain trades, but as a whole, shut it down. does shut down pretty shut much down. for about it, yeah. two weeks yeah. Even totally, like, doesn't it? Screw fix, be, it, maybe not being Q, but like your Travis's, your Juicens, they yeah. shut down, they, they do close shut the down. stores. Yeah. They don't I think, I think they'll be still, in, maybe in between, there'll be yeah, a day or two. Bits, but they, yeah. they shut down for like three or four days at a time, and uh, rightly so. But just going to say, funny story about Christmas on Light Hard One. Yeah. We were actually working at um, a, a, a housing company at, at Christmas, and on the last day, yeah, they paid me twice. Yes, they did. Oh, I remember nice. that. They paid me double. Right, they paid you twice. So in that scenario, on Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve. <laughs> so I went out and got shit. No, was, all right. Yeah, so hang on. Yeah, so yeah. so obviously I'm going to play devil's advocate because that's my role. Yeah. What do you do in that situation? Do you message them and say you've paid me twice? Yeah. Do you not say a word? I think. Do you do you I, I, do you base it on how they treated you and you think well I'll treat you the same or um, both? 
Uh, that one. You, you base it on how you've been treated in the past. Yeah. And if you've been treated well, yeah. you, you say to them, look, you've paid me twice. Yeah. And, and, and in that occasion, they, they did, they did, the person did say, ah, oh, fuck it, let him have it. So you, you, you actually went to them and we said, told, you we paid told me twice. Them. And rather than get it all back off you, they, they just, just said, said enjoy your Christmas. Because oh, they, Christmas. Christmas. That's they did, right. they that did. But if someone's right. treated you like shit and not your back payments in the past, yeah. take your money and have a nice Christmas. Yeah. I yeah. can remember the day that that happened yeah. and you came to me and said, they've paid me twice. Yeah. And, I, and I think I, I probably said, don't say anything, just, just, no, just leave it. But no, you you, you no, did. No, was it, no. was it? We, we talked about it and we spoke to the guy because we liked it. Did guy. we go to him? And you you spoke to him and he said, look, you've, you've just said, you know, you've paid Danny twice. And his response was, have a nice Christmas. Have a great it. Christmas. And yeah. he was the yeah. owner of the company. There's a whole episode on. Yeah. We, we've had some moments being paid, haven't we? You know, oh, God. We talked it's about it. We mentioned yeah. uh, one of them being, it's a wonderful life. Like we've seen in the bank. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've had some incredible times where we've, not been paid. We've, uh, we have been paid. We've been paid just before we've, somebody goes bump. We've been paid just be- literally the day, the day before, before somebody's somebody bump. gone bump. Yeah. 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 We've had some like bizarre, yeah. which we will definitely speak about in future episodes. One hundred percent. That 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 you were talking about then, in my head, there's a kind of romance attached to that now because the where we ended up working for that couple of weeks before Christmas. Yeah, yeah, that job. Yeah, was this unbelievable kind of like mansion house Mm -hmm. in the middle of in the heart of cheshire that backs onto a huge lake if anybody knows it called the mearside it was like beautiful 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 place and we uh, the bricklayers that they'd had on that job had jacked on them so we ended up going in to kind of sort it all out and fix it all and whatnot and uh i think i ended up driving the forklift as well it's amazing actually on the last day for christmas the, yeah. the foreman on the job, I can't remember his name, but he was a great bloke. He yeah. was leaving and he basically just went, oh, he couldn't be asked. None of them could be bothered, could no, they? Everyone would give up. It, it was just, day work, wasn't it? it We're was all on day work. work. Yeah. I've got to say, we always seem to have a good, you know, crawl at the end of the Christmas though. That's, that's usually oh, a good yeah. do. Oh, the, the Christmas crawl. The Christmas, yeah. crawl the Christmas do. The Christmas you have do you go night. to your construction Christmas work do or do you stay at home? Do you go? Of course you go. You go with the guys and girls, don't you? You go out. You go if you can. If you can, yeah, I think if you can, yeah, depends yeah. which one, like, yeah, depends. depends, the depends, depends I'm sure the there's some great is. stories from individuals, and please leave leave them in the comments about um, uh, uh, things that have happened during Christmas. Well, maybe maybe we could call, talk about, and there's a famous one in construction, Mad, Mad Friday, Mad Friday. We'll yeah. Talk about it in the next yeah, I think pod, it's, it's, or the it's, last pod. Is it the sixteenth of of I'm December sure. this year? Yeah. I think it's it's Friday. Curry has to be involved in the proper Curry, yeah. do. Yeah. yeah, I think it does. So, um, so we're we're pretty much nearly sort of done. I That's, think we've got a yeah. couple couple of minutes yeah, left. Yeah. Just just check us the time there, Danny. Yeah. I think we have got a couple of more minutes left. You, this um, is, people are going to be texting in saying, "Oh, I've, I've seen that." Where can I buy that? Can, oh, no, I've seen that twenty years ago. Or something. No, well, even if you do, I've I don't never care. Seen one for it. It's always like standing knife, isn't it? That one. No, no. I think I think that's revolutionary. Uh, it's a, going to change the industry. Over, an oval <laughs> pencil sharpener is definitely going to change the industry. Excuse me. A great pair of grips, mm. one of the most important things just for a plumber, just, well, yeah, for a lot of some, construction some people. Sink, just quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, Andy, you are right as well. The adjustable yeah, spanner. Yeah, adjustable what an invention spanner. that actually is. Yeah. Probably, in a way, changed construction, perhaps automotive as well for yeah. for, for millions yeah. of people. Yeah. Um, you can adjustable slip grips. on you though. Adjustable, adjustable grips. Adjustable grips. You know, Cora bending back the um, yeah. the wire. Look at how ha- look at how happy his face is. Look, yeah, look yeah. at him. Look yeah. at him with his grips. <laughs> he's only ever happy when he's got uh, to, a, tool, a, tool, a tool, a tool in his hand, a tool in his hand. But um, yeah. So uh, just before we sort of finish, um, what we've we got coming up, we've got episode ten, yeah. which is uh, our very last episode of season one. Are that, you gonna come on, Nick? that will be in a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's in front of, of a live audience. Yes, yeah. Certainly. yeah. So, Andy, are you going to be in the audience for that? I will, yeah, um, shout yeah. of abuse. Yeah. Just want to say thank you so much for appearing no, on the welcome. episode today. Um, you probably will shout abuse at us, yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking get off, get off. Um, no, thank you for coming. Um, you, if you've not quite told what you wanted to get across today, and maybe there's a lot more, hopefully maybe season two you want to come back. I was just and, say, if you any any other guests, you know, always have two pints before you come on. Always great. have a couple of beers before you come yeah, on. it's fine. You enjoying it? You thought you've been yeah, okay? Very good. Yeah. Been all right, yeah? yeah. Good, yeah, it's good. It's been a pleasure having you on. Cheers. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on. Yeah, You're our cheers. second ever I'm glad guest. glad we've managed to, you know, get that off our chest. Yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> right, absolutely. You, you, you yeah. having a weird issue yeah. with Vans. With OCD and Vans. Yeah, you've been dying to say that for ages, haven't you? As part of a thank you for being on, we always present our guests with 
uh, a site cabin podcast hoodie. Yeah. Um, so thank you very much. There's your site cabin podcast yeah. hoodie as a thank you for coming on the uh, oh, thank you very the much. show. Second ever guest. Michael got one. Andy's now got oh, one. Good. So yeah. thank you for coming on the uh, the podcast. It's like going out standard, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. good standard. Yeah. yeah. Just, just when we've finished, I'll give us back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to freeze yeah. when you go outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, so uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for uh, watching the pod. Um, we'll see you soon for episode 10, um, which is going to be the last episode in season one. Then we're going to take a short break. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much for listening and watching. We will see you next time. Goodbye. Good. Well done. I thought that was good. That was hey. good. Yeah. I know you've only got so many of them. No, no, keep it. Uh, Dave, it's, it's Andy, keep it. No, uh, so you've only got so many of them. No, Don't I worry have, about I it. I have actually got one. Don't worry about it's it. It's, that one, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, no, no, I genuinely have. I genuinely have. Got them for you. That was, that was good. Yeah, oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>